Hi everybody, uh, this is a uh, instructional video I'm going to make here because somebody was asking about it. Um, I'm, i got to try and show you a lot of stuff in a short period of time to keep this video down. But it's concerning the overlay editor and how it works, what it does with your X-Plane. Um, it, I use this because um, a lot of people use WED this thing down here to build airports and uh, it's got a very high learning curve on it I still haven't figured out doing it it's how to build a complete airport for X-Plane install runways and everything else where what this does is you can add stuff to an airport that already exists like airplanes people buildings and it's a lot simpler to use quicker to use and it it's not as good as this, but it's 10 times easier to use. So I'm going to show you what it is, how you use it. First of all, what you do is you go to, all you got to do is go to Google or Firefox or whatever you're using. Type in your search window, window overlay, editor, explain. And there it is right there. Overlay and then you download it. Once you download it, I make a shortcut on my desktop. So then um, you just got to pick an airport that you want to work on. Um, you can do it with custom scenery or you can do it with default scenery. I'm at a default airport. I just opened it random. I've never been there. I don't like it. I'll never use it again so I can mess it up and show you what it is. And it's it's uh, right here. K-E-I-K. -E and uh, it's, uh, I forget the name of it. K-E-I-K. -E Erie County or something. So I'll resume the flight. And here it is. And see, I'll never use it. I'll never fly here. I just, that's why I picked this one. And, um, you see, they got some kind of office that's supposed to be over here. I don't know what the heck that is. This is me here. It's got some parked airplanes. And uh, it's an ugly looking airport. So we're just going to see if we can fix this up. So all you got to do is uh, remember what it is. I'll show you again. K-E-I-K. -E and... Uh, And remember that building there. I don't know if I can get rid of that. Some it doesn't do a lot of stuff, but it picks some stuff. And the guy asked if he could put how he can put Pappy lights on different airports. So I don't I don't know if this one's got Pappy lights. Let's see if I can take a look at the end of the runway and see it. It appears to have Pappy lights right here. See them right here. I don't know those are proper pappy lights. They're just lights, just white lights. They just appear to be white. And plus, if, if I, I make it nighttime, the airport's got really got no lights, doesn't have much of anything. The only reason this building's lit up is from the landing lights of my airplane. So that's what it is, K-E-I-K, -E so I'll close this down because I'm just going to show you how to use the overlay editor. So, you open up your overlay editor, and it's loading up. It'll take a minute to load up here, so bear with me here. And we'll show you how to how to do it, and, and you can go from there. And it's, uh, it's got two things up here. I can show you here. I can point at it. This folder right here, that's got all your custom scenery folder in it. And this thing here has got all your default airports in it. So we're going to go to default airports. If you have a custom airport, you work on it over here. If you're working on a default airport, you work on it over here. Loading the airports and it loads the terrain, I think. I'm not sure what it's loading here. But there's a lot of airports to load, so you just got to bear with it. And this thing will put your changes directly into your 
custom scenery. So I'll show you how you do that. I can't really short shorten this part of the video because it's just loading up. There, it's loaded up. Now, if you wanted to work on your custom scenery, and you do this the same for both sides. Default airports, custom airports. You see, there's all my custom scenery, all my custom airports. So if I wanted to work on one of them, I could pick one of them. But since uh, I don't have custom scenery for KEIK, we'll find it here in the default airports. You got two ways. You can go by name. You can go by ICAO. I'll use the ICAO. I find that one's easier. So we go down to KEIK. E D E F G K E. I can scroll with my mouse wheel. A lot of airports to go through. K-E-I-K, there it is right there, okay. It's going to load it up. That's the airport we were just at. There it is. Now, I can move it, move this around on your map where I can see it better. Now, you see this? Use your up and down arrows to move up and down. And it, it only covers, and you can use your mouse wheel to scroll in and out. See that? And it only gives you, it only covers a certain area. And all these little yellow things, these are all different airports. This is the one we're working on down here. And if, if you wanted to go further down the map, an arrow key, um, if I use my down arrow, watch, when you, when you go over 50%, It'll start to load up this side, so you can move around. And I'm doing that with the arrow keys, but I've got to go back after I show you this. Now we're going to go back up to... I'm going to zoom in on it. And then you can use your page up and your page down to flatten it out. See? That's straight looking down. And the page down, you can get an angle view. And um, page up. Now the other ones is the, the home key and the end key. You can spin it either way. I'm going to zoom in with my mouse wheel. And see, this was the building that that I didn't like, but you can't really get rid of it, so you're kind of stuck with it. And this is uh, with Google Maps, so this doesn't show up real accurately to what what you see in the uh, in the uh, game. So let's say he said he wanted to put Pappy lights on it. You see, this is already preset. Because it says objects in this package and there isn't any. So what you do is you can click on this the arrow. And you can go down to the bottom and search results. And he wanted Pappy Light. So you type in the top of the Pappy. See if we get any. And there's some Pappy Lights. You've got different choices. You click on them to show you what they look like. And then uh, use your arrow keys. You can zoom down to the end of the runway. I'll turn it around so it's straighter. And those are the lights that we we're looking at. We can't do anything with them because they're already embedded. But you could take these.
and you click on the plus arrow and it goes where that red dot is right there and then you hold your mouse on it and you can move it where you want I'll put it right over top of the one that's already there because I think that's what they're already using and um, we'll go back up here so I wanted some some people standing around the uh, hangar so I go right in here in search window people P -E. and uh, there's a businessman I can what I like to do is you see this little dot that's where it's going to appear so I like to move the dot where I want the want the guy you know I'm using the arrow keys let's say we're going to put them over here walking towards this airplane so I'll zoom in and I'll click and we got them walking in the right direction or I can I can click on them again and I can I can use my Q and my E keys to spin them see so I can turn them around use the W keys and the S keys to move them in and out A key to move them left so that's pretty much how you do it I'm not going to save any of this I'm just showing you how this thing works now if I wanted to I could open up a different one I could open up a custom scene I want to save the changes now I don't want to save the changes and here's my here's my custom scenery which is a lot easier to work on so um, I just pick this one because it might be quicker and it's a lot easier to work on uh, custom sceneries because a lot of the uh, default sceneries like you saw on this one everything's already embedded So I like to I like to fix my custom sceneries up. A lot of times there's no airplanes. You can put airplanes on the uh, on the field. I'll show you what I mean here in a second. And the reason yours might be a lot faster. The reason mine is so slow is I've got, if you would believe it, my X plane is two and a half uh, terabytes. So we can do the same thing here. We can use the uh, the page up key to flatten it out. And the arrow key move around. You see, there's not very much to this air this airport. There's hardly anything there. So I can turn around. I can stick. There's a couple of helicopter spots there. Let's stick uh, a couple airplanes parked. I'm going to go to uh, search results. Up here are white, right, Cessna. There's a bunch of airplanes. Animated means they got the lights going, so what's this one look like? You go through them and see what they look like. Here's a green one. I like that one. So then we'll move over, put the red dot closer to the edge. And I'll click it. And there's the airplane. Then I can use the E key to spin it. So spacing out. 
move the uh, arrow key, move the red dot up. I can click another one. Same thing. Spin it. There seems to be a little hanger over here, so I could go in here and I could go hanger. And I'll scroll down with the arrow key here. And you just go through them. I'm not going to find one that's exact. I'll just... I'll just pick this one. Because it kind of looks like it. See, it kind of looks like it. And, uh... I'll move my arrow keys, get the dot down more. I can put it here. And add it. You see, you see, it's way too big, so you got to go through them and find what you like. And if you want to get rid of it and you change your mind, you click on it, highlight it, click the red X, and you can get rid of it. Let's see what that looks like. Everything's different sizes. I don't like that one. I was just and see it's changed to C B D library because I picked one from there, so I don't want that. I gotta go back down here to search results. And then I can scroll down. And you go through them. Let's see how big that one is. That's still pretty big. And they're all different sizes in here. You just have to go through them. and, and It's a long process. Try to find what you like. Oh, that's huge. Maybe it's that one. Looks huge. But you get the idea. You go through these things and you can find different things. And there's a ton of them. You get the you get the idea, and that's that's basically how it works. And now when I because I've changed this and I've added a couple airplanes, when I close this down, it will automatically add those airplanes to this custom scenery over here. You want to save the changes? No, I don't want to save the change. But if you save the changes, it will add them airplanes to your custom scenery, and that's basically how it works. There's not too much to it. And you can add lights, you can add, you can add, I showed you, you can add airplanes, whatever you type in here, you can type in uh, lights, and you can get, you can get street lights, you can get plot lights, you can get, you can get uh, runway lights, center line lights, green center line lights, if you want to do taxis. FAA. Here's here's Pappy lights, big Pappy lights. If you want to do a big airport, there's so there's all these lights. You can see them in the pictures. Shows you what you're going to get. And uh, Merle red, white. I use these for land lining my air airport. So so if I put one here, I zoom in on the runway, and I can I can use my arrow keys, and I can put it right here beside the runway and you zoom in, you can see it there. See? It's right there. 
but I don't want it. And that's basically how you use this. Uh, I want to modify. No, I don't want to save it. Modify. It. And that's all there is to it. So I hope this helps people with this uh, overlay editor on how to add stuff to your airport.